Today I'm going to read for you a little bit from my phone. I just take notes throughout the day. Um, I've done this for uh, maybe half a year now. So this document I just keep on my phone. Um, I'm going to read it in reverse from what I started writing last night until uh, six, six months previous. What is the purpose of thinking? Is imagination real? Perspective, perspective, perspective. It, uh, does reality depend on your perspective? Have you ever done anything useful? Have you, n you have never experienced God. Nothing else matters besides the moment. Nothing else matters besides this moment. Nothing has ever died. The answer is found in silence and stillness. Stretch your ego like a rubber band until it breaks. The mere purpose of society and culture is to ensure your survival. Enlightenment is not about you. God is found in a deep inhale and exhale. Ego occurs within consciousness. Earth speaks. What's the difference between good and bad? Be mindful of your non-mindfulness. Bring your awareness to yourself and know that you are everything that exists. The moment demonstrates God. Let the universe reside in your heart. Humans possess the capacity to create new stages. Environmental conditions can manipulate individuals to go up or down the spiral of spiral dynamics. The seven principles of Nisarga Yoga, as identified by Nick Higgum. Non-identification and right understanding. Interest and earnestness. Spontaneity and effortlessness. Attentiveness to being. Right action. Going within to go beyond. Awareness of self. Spirituality will deepen the more you are honest with what arises in the moment. Every stage believes they are the ultimate stage. Spiral dynamics challenges the assumption of free will. There is no such thing as representation. Truth cannot be said, thought of, nor seen. Evil is that which is disguising itself as the truth. See that all ideas are superfluous because they, can, they can't ever touch the whole truth. Our self-identity is what is keeping us from seeing truth. See that all ideas are superfluous because they can't ever touch the whole truth. Our self-identity is what is keeping us from seeing truth. Question all assumptions. The vast limitless here-ness of now. Is, it a human, is a human more important than a tree? What did I do today to improve the well-being of the world? Death and the now are, our, are your gurus. People crave predictability and fear spontaneity. We have put ourselves in cages by separating ourselves from the world. Seeing what I have now reminds me of what I necessarily will lose. Your loneliness is the universe's way of telling you that it loves you unconditionally. You will never escape loneliness and uncertainty, for they are the core of our existence. Accept it by not judging it. Learning is done when you create a new culture in yourself. You can never lose anything because you can't have anything to begin with. My whole world is painted with the color of her. What's the difference between a thought and a feeling? I want to die because I want to live. Criminals and victims are suffering. Align the ego with reality. Enlightenment is like throwing your smartphone and laptop out the window and burning all your money. Relationships in the 21st century. Why does now have to be any particular way? Why are certain things manifested? Where does the sense of I exist exist? In the body? In the mind? What is the universe? Letting go is not caring. It is accepting the good and, and bad. Will we actually ever be healed? Oh, how much art pain has created. How do you know that you are being productive? Aren't you assuming that you know the goal is worthwhile? Why does sadness feel so damn good? Is it because we intuitively know that its opposite, which is bliss, is on its way? Why does sadness feel so damn good? Friends, family, pets, and lovers come and go. What stays? What is the difference between my consciousness? Awareness and my subconscious awareness. A, ram a romantic partner is not a person. They are an idea in your mind. Romance is an empty ship in your lower self that needs to be filled. What's the difference between the universe and this emotion? Mindfulness is complete bullshit. Breathe into the depression. Exhale the bliss. I can only write as the higher self. 
The lower self is less universal, yet it is not. What are the themes of the lower self? What is the point of busyness? How do I know the difference between life and existence and my conscious awareness? What is everything? What is the difference between I and everything? What's the difference between truth with a capital T and truth with a small t? How do I know? Why does thinking never stop? Is it also true? How do I accept all things, events, people, and intrapersonal phenomena? Why is the now always now? Why is the here always here? What is the difference between her and my thinking of her? All I know is she is worth the wait. Why do I feel like a stranger within my own consciousness? Which part of me is the familiar part? Which is the strange? What's the difference between me and this office computer? Why do I feel the need to come and sit with this computer every morning? Is this computer as alive as me? Why is loving so difficult, tedious, full of suffering, and full of bliss? I'm sitting here in my office. Is it really my office? Why do humans create music? Is it to feel less lonely? Does every craving basically come for our feeling of loneliness? Is breathing wise? Does it have ultimate purpose? Is there anything more than more real in my life than breathing? What is the difference between breathing and the universe itself? Dear friend, I'm sitting here intently listening to my own breathing, but the question arises, who or what is breathing? Also, what is the difference between the inhale and the exhale? Can you have one without the other? Is breathing wise? Does it have ultimate purpose? Is there anything more real in my life than breathing? What's the difference between breathing and the universe itself? The messages that the body sends to our consciousness is so wise. It's impossible to teach spirituality because the now moment is unique for all people. Why does the present have to resemble the past? There is nobody controlling the society. What is identity? Awakening is a society-wide endeavor. God is like a river, the one-two rule of romantic relationships. I don't meditate. I simply sit in a quiet place and honestly wonder what is real. I have two teachers, silence and death. Cities remind us of our egos. Nature reminds us of our souls. Have you ever thought about what a thought is happening inside of? What is the field in which the mind occurs? If you know it's right, let it happen. Don't try too hard. You have to be willing to question enlightenment, and meditation is a belief system. Is it worth pursuing? El momento no se va nunca, pero los sentimientos y pensamientos sí. Love existence more than life. Why doesn't just consciousness exist? What created the outside world? Is there just my subjective awareness? What is the outside world? Why even become humans in the first place if we were meant not to be humans? Why do we try and perpetuate ourselves? What is the difference between a person and their beliefs? Why do people believe untrue ideas? Why am I me? Yet we always try and escape the now moment. Why do we always return to here I am? What is music? Why do we like it? What happens to a person when they head towards enlightenment? What is the difference between a person and an ego? Wisdom is falling in love with simple, subtle beauty. You can love someone from the bottom of your soul, but you can never have them even though that's such a pity for our egoic agenda. Those who are not as awake of you will be nervous and scared of your openness and vulnerability. Excuse me. Those who are not as awake as you will be nervous and scared of your openness and vulnerability. Vulnerability is scary for the ego because egos do not want to sink into oneness. The real spiritual paradox. I want to go beyond me and become the universe, but I also want to be the best version of me. The Pessoa method, what is reality, what is happening? I'm standing on nothingness, I'm looking at nothingness, I am nothingness, infinitely suspended in mid-nothingness. How can you prepare as a teacher if your lesson is the now moment? Happiness is like a rainbow, it's awkward running away when you search for it. What about the fear of the parents of the spiritual seeker? Will that hold the seeker back? Most conversations involve an ego affirming another ego. The most important part of life is death. I want to be introverted with you. Belief systems are barriers that keep hearts from connecting with one another. 
We need constant reminders that we are God consciousness to change our brain chemistry from focus on the ego towards God. The best way to do this is to meditate and talk about the fact that we are infinity when we don't meditate. Meditation bells are great too because they aren't words. Best to avoid dualistic language at all costs. This ought to be the essence of business, education, and politics. Life is so paradoxical, both rugged and blissful. The ruggedness is when we are stuck in our bodies and minds. The bliss is the consciousness. People's egos need to be pushed, but very slowly so it doesn't self-destruct. The relationship between evolution and spirituality. The purpose of meditating is to, to, to decrease our fear of death, loneliness, and boredom. It is the accepting of these darker places that allows us to flourish. The essence of, the, of enlightenment, however, is moving in stillness, living non-duality. Death is nothing to be feared. A wise person knows it is the next necessary step in order to re-become our truth. Spirituality is an activity humans do, whereas truth just is. We need to combine all the best human ideas and then take another step forward. All is the ability to say yes, and with all humans created systems, use them and then go beyond them. The idea that I am only here is in the mind. Be still and be infinity. Unteaching is reteaching. Become your inner child. Many people are trying to reach stage turquoise directly from stage green. They need stage yellow. Love is the underlying nature of the universe. I don't know why one thing gets manifested and another thing not. Does it matter? One ethical rule. Question all human concepts. Determination sitting. Quickest route to enlightenment. Where does happiness take place? Can you point to it? We transcend the manifested world to the unmanifested world just to return to the manifested world. It's just that now you are a powerful human being. The only real thing in human life is love. Everything else is myth. The only thing that exists is our subjective experience. The only purpose in life for an individual is to shut off mind. From there, love radiates. I am not the ego's awareness. I am the here and now within which all phenomena occur. All natural responses come from naturally reacting to the environment. To become purely happy, human happiness needs to be let go of. The goal should not be to achieve enlightenment because there is no need of a goal to be here now. What is the nature of knowledge? What is worth knowing? Is knowledge human data or is it just our subjectivity? We have to decondition how we view time. There are no days, just life. Enlightenment is not an experience, it is what we are. Therefore, enlightenment is our preordained essence. We are feeding our egos what, what they want every day by buying into the fairy tale that it is. Meditation itself cures all suffering and falsehood. It renders all philosophical questions and answers unnecessary. Why is it so hard to be alone? Perhaps human happiness is a distraction from being. Except the darkness and the light, being alone together, being still and silent in the midst of noise and madness is the essence of Zen. Society and pop culture has convinced us of what happiness looks like. We ultimately do not have any control over what and who we are. Status is given to us by sheer luck or unfortune or misfortune. Human beauty needs to be viewed from an unbiased manner. When one is seeking enlightenment, how must he or she use their mind? Should it be, become more philosophical in nature or more poetic?